Welcome back to Exony Views. Today we're diving into an issue that many car owners face at one point or another, engine surging. Whether you've noticed your engine revving up and down erratically or experiencing a bumpy ride, engine surging can be a real headache. But don't worry, I'm here to help you diagnose the problem and fix it. Engine Surging Causes All you need to know, how to diagnose and fix. First off, what exactly is engine surging? Simply put, it's when your car's RPM starts fluctuating unexpectedly. This can happen while you're driving or even just idling. Instead of a smooth, steady ride, the engine revs up and down in cycles, creating that surging effect. Sounds frustrating, right? It sure can be, and it's often a sign that something deeper is going on under the hood. Common Causes of Engine Surging So, what causes engine surging? Let's break it down. 1. Vacuum Leaks Vacuum leaks are one of the most common culprits. A vacuum leak lets extra air into the engine, upsetting the air-fuel ratio and causing those annoying RPM fluctuations. This could be due to cracked hoses, loose fittings, or even a damaged intake manifold. 2. Fuel delivery issues. Fuel delivery problems are another big cause. Clogged fuel injectors, a failing fuel pump, or even a dirty fuel filter can all restrict fuel flow and lead to engine surging. When the engine isn't getting enough fuel, it struggles to maintain a steady RPM. 3. Faulty Idle Air Control Valve IAC. The idle air control valve, or IAC, controls airflow when the throttle is closed. If it's dirty or malfunctioning, it can throw off your idle speed, causing erratic performance. 4. Throttle Position Sensor TPS, Issues Check the Throttle Position Sensor or TPS. This sensor tells your engine control unit AQ, how open the throttle is. If it sends incorrect signals, your engine can't properly adjust the air-fuel mixture, which leads to surging. 5. Dirty or Faulty Mass Airflow Sensor MAF. The mass airflow sensor measures the amount of air entering the engine. A dirty or faulty MAF can give wrong readings, disrupting the air-fuel balance. 6. EGR Valve Problems An issue with your EGR valve can also cause surging. This valve recirculates exhaust gases back into the engine to reduce emissions. If it's stuck open or clogged with carbon, it disrupts the combustion process, leading to uneven performance. 7. AQ Problems the engine control unit, or AQ. If the AQ receives bad data from sensors or has software issues, it can cause engine surging. This is usually more complex and may require a professional to diagnose. How to diagnose engine surging? All right, let's talk diagnosis. If you're experiencing engine surging, here's a step-by-step -step approach to pinpoint the problem. One. Check for vacuum leaks. First, inspect all the vacuum hoses and connections for cracks or loose fittings. Spray a little carb cleaner around suspect areas. If the engine's RPM changes, you found your leak. 2. Inspect the fuel system. Check your fuel system. Test the fuel pressure and inspect the fuel injectors, pump, and filter. If they're clogged or failing, they could be causing the surges. 3. Test the idle air control valve IAC. Remove and inspect the IAC valve for carbon buildup. Clean it up or replace it if needed. 4. Check the throttle position sensor TPS. Test the TPS with a multimeter. If the readings aren't smooth and consistent, it's likely the TPS is faulty. 5. Inspect the mass air flow sensor MAF. A dirty MAF can cause all kinds of problems. Try cleaning it with a specialized cleaner and see if that fixes the issue. 6. Examine the EGR valve. Remove the EGR valve and clean it thoroughly. If it's stuck open, that could be the root of your surging problem. 7. Check the ECU. If all else fails, get your AQ scanned. A professional diagnostic tool can pull error codes and help you determine if the problem is software-related. How to fix engine surging 
Now that you've diagnosed the issue, here's how to fix it. 1. Vacuum leaks. Replace any cracked hoses, gaskets, or connections that are causing air leaks. 2. Fuel system issues. Clean or replace clogged injectors, change the fuel filter, or install a new fuel pump if needed. 3. Idle air control valve. Clean or replace the IAC if it's malfunctioning. 4. Throttle position sensor. Replace the TPS if it's sending erratic signals. 5. Mass airflow sensor. Clean the MAF or replace it if it's damaged beyond repair. 6. EGR valve. Clean the valve thoroughly or replace it if it's stuck. 7. AQ problems. If the AQ is the issue, a software update or a full replacement may be necessary. Remember, the seven causes of engine surging I covered in this video are some of the most common, but they're not the only ones. Issues like a clogged catalytic converter, transmission problems, a malfunctioning oxygen sensor, or even a worn-out spark plug can also lead to surging. If you're still having trouble after checking the causes mentioned here, it might be worth investigating these other areas as well. So there you have it. Engine surging can be annoying, but with the right knowledge and a systematic approach, you can track down the issue and get it fixed. I hope this guide helps you tackle the problem confidently. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and leave your comment to get notified for more in-depth auto repair guides here on Exony Views. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.